Hello, it is the cave man. Just came out of his cave. Now, my concern is right now about the protests that's going on around the country. I really do not understand the point of it. I understand the I understand most of it is about the death of George Floyd, but I believe some of it's not. I think it's just a bunch of people just want to get their way at this point. Because my idiot cousin went to go protest in Philadelphia and he almost got shot. Text me this morning, oh like Brad, come get me, and I'm like, no. You're the one who's wanting to go there. Suck it. I told him not to go there in the first place. Didn't want to listen to me. Jesus Christ. With the protests going on right now in the country, we all just need to stay indoors. Fear for our lives at this point. Trump, the Trump yesterday was threatening to send out the, the active military. That's when you know it gets bad. They are not wanting to do what's right to protect the residents and save the property for their city. Trump's going to release the active military. And honestly, I don't blame him. At this point, people not want to listen. But I understand that the Black Lives Matters thing, yeah, it's real. It's fucking, it's real, dude. Like, I just don't understand how it could go on for, for like a full-on week. George Floyd, I mean, I really didn't know who he was that much. All I know is he was black and I think he was an NBA star. I think, not saying he was, I, I'm just thinking because I really didn't know who he was. But whenever I saw the officer having his, his knee on Floyd's neck, I was sitting there thinking, yeah, he's going to kill him. I had a feeling Floyd was going to die, but I, I already saw the video after Floyd already died. And... I guess the American people just wanted to prove to these officers that it's they're sick of it. They're sick of seeing it happen every minute, every five minutes. I'm sick of seeing it happen every five minutes too. Because they're just being racist. But the protests need to stop. I mean, I'm here in Abingdon, Virginia, and last night there was a little there was a shooting or something in Johnson City during a so-called peaceful protest. I mean, I understand I'm on the other side of the state line, but Johnson City, Tennessee is already having protests. It's getting to the point where it's violent. And I'm sick of it. Bristol, Tennessee, there was protesters there last night. With the right on the state line. And... It, it just needs to stop people. I mean, come on. If you, I don't care if you don't want to listen to me or not, but we got to do something. We got to stop. We're killing people for God's sake. No peace, no, ju no justice, no peace. People are causing fucking deaths because the officers trying to protect our country are getting killed too now. And half of them has nothing to do with it. I mean, come on. My uncle is an officer, and he's a, and he's out there trying. He's up there in Philadelphia trying to go get my cousin, and he's fighting against the against the protesters. I mean, come on. We need to stop. I might have nothing to do with this, but come on. Some of my family's on the line for this. I'm not dealing with this crap anymore. I mean, I wish I could do something about it, but hell, how many people you think is going to listen to me? I miss trying because I'm not going up to Philadelphia. Crazy shit up there. Bad enough up there to where you're lucky enough you even wake up without a gun to your head. And that's sad. About to walk into work. 
Not really, not really feeling ready today. Too tired to care. Too focused on this pro, these damn protests to care. I just, I hope some people take my advice and at least try to do something and actually make peace and stop killing people. Killing people in the process of this shit. It's over. It has to be.